First, preparation. Know who's coming, at least know their name. And three, have some topics in mind. Don't overdo it. If you overdo it, you really feel that it's structured. So I don't have like a prompter, I don't have a cue, I have nothing, I basically in my mind have several elements. The second thing I do is, I always want to know how long do I talk. We used to do very long formats, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and we realized that people don't really watch that, because that's more a podcast than a YouTube video thing. Video needs visuals. So what do we do? We try and keep them short, seven, eight minutes in an ideal scenario. One of the things I do to, to be able to figure out time is that I put a clock next to the camera. Thank you, Philippe. This is the type of clock I use because it counts back the time. So for me, it's very easy to watch how long I'm talking and it is next to the camera. So I'll basically be looking into the lens and that makes it very easy because if I start doing this or I start doing that or I start reading text, you see that on a face. So don't do it. The third thing I do is, if I really want to explain something, like I'm doing now, I would typically put a laptop open just below the lens and have three points or maybe have a flow. And then my mind will actually make all the connections and I will stick to the topic. The problem is, I start talking and suddenly I see something, I get defocused and we're gone, right? So, let's go to the first guest. So, you can sit down here. I'm gonna sit next to you, he's gonna film. And then we just have a chat, I'll ask you some nice questions and what I like to do is ask you questions that, that, that where you can conclude things. What are the top three things, what are the things you don't like to do, what are the things you really love, what's the stuff you hate because it kind of polarizes and it's interesting to listen to. What do I ask guests?